Great Scott, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Blind, part 20. Yes, the LP has reached adulthood. But Papa, I do not want to get a job. I want to stay here with you. Son, you must get a job or you will never reach true adulthood. A letter to the traveling Nomadi Mouse. Okay, we'll deliver that letter to Nomadi, Nomadi Mouse. But anyways, yes, the LP is now 20 parts old. And that, that guy isn't that... Isn't... Hey, nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. Um, whoa, revelation! You are green! I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. I, when I'm out and about in Dryter Outpost, I use the name Sheik, but I am sick of being a kebab. And I have done what Sheik did in Ocarina of Time, and I have revealed myself as Princess Zelda. Your name is Mario. Yes, I heard that you want to go to dry, dry ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry, dry ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? Good question. You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. Okay, para carry. No telling anyone when you when you do in the mail round. Here, I'll give you this. The Pulse Stone. Is it the Vitality Sensor? The Pulse Stone is the key to finding dry dry ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? Mm. The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. So... It sounds like we have to wander around the desert, so what I think I'm going to do, I don't think you guys really want to see me just wander around the desert lost, so I'm going to meet you once I'm relatively close, once the pulse stone starts flashing, I assume, rapidly. I think that's what it said. Good heavens, that's a lot of pokies! Oh! Great Zeus, rain your justice upon me. Uh, anywho, uh, I might as well stick with you now. The pull stone is flashing relatively quickly, so we might be close now. Okay, it's going proper fast now. Why? I don't know why I'm avoiding the pokies, really. Probably because there's two at once and I just don't want to deal with that. I'm fine with taking on one, but three... That's a little bit much, and I know that if I start one, I'll get caught in another. Well, this looks like the place. A bland stone, perfect for a desert. It's gone into the ground. What is, is it a Sheikah stone? We've got enough Sheiks already. That's, that's quite a big cyclone, and it's made the sky turn a very dark blue. Well, I prefer blue to yellow in the environment of environments, so... Um, okay, the the ruins are rising from the ground. They chain chomps on the outside. They're looking very three-dimensional. Whoa, what's going on, man? Huh, what could be happening to the sky? Hmm, I do not speak no more. Okay, so the ruins have risen from the ground. There's a big block in front of it. What are we going to do with the block? Okay, they're just going to fall out. And pl oh, they brought a heal block up from the ground. I'm on full health anyway, but I'll take it. Let's use it. Is there anything like a star piece around the ruins before I go in? Nah. Let's enter the ruins of truth. Pikachu, prepare to light the darkness. <coughs> <coughs> Cough like a champion. I'm the huge, scary Tutankupa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Hi. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. Okay, I'm going to save, because knowing my luck, I'll probably get killed inside here. And then I will respawn there, and I'll be happy. Okay, coffin. All right, a new enemy, slightly scary, but I shall show at least one of them off. Okay, I'm a bit scared about having this many. I'm sure there'll be more later on where I don't 
have the threat of three at one. Okay. I'm going to run past these two and take on the third. For demonstrative purposes and also learning purposes. So I know what to do. Oh, I have to take on three. I assume I can't jump on them just like a regular pokey. Two damage. If they're like a normal pokey, they will have three. I've only got five. If you wouldn't be very smart to use it yet. I mean, I would have done if I had my 10 FP from before, but nope. I've only got five, so I'm going to use that when I really need it. Mario's poison. Three damage? Okay, I got the timing right that time. Guess and get lucky. Right, Pokey Mummies, you need sorting out. Two damage. Would be cool if they had less HP, depending on the amount of units they had. They're using their own units to attack me. And they stood up to two attacks. I'm getting the timing ever so wrong. I think I need to go back to that heal block outside. I could have used that shell toss, that power shell after all then, because I'm only going back to heal anyway. Ugh. We're seeing the outside. I wish I was there. Because this place seems a little bit unpleasant so far. Anyway, I'm going to go heal... What is this? It's the spell. Flaaah! Decrease the damage. Oh, I've heard it can increase the amount of star points you get from a battle, so I was hoping for that one. Seeing as we're about to win the battle, you know. Car boosh! Car boot sale! Alright, oh, and a random jump. Nine star points. That's quite a lot, actually. Anyway, I'm going to go heal. Or not. I'm so glad I cut when I did because in that very brief break I actually got a call from my mum Ooh a key I'm guessing that hole to my right is going to move downwards now Okay no This wall's a bit suspicious Two torches Dripping sand I guess it is Well Can't do anything to it So we got a key and I believe I saw a lock Yes I did see a locked door up here and I also see a patch of sand in the middle of the screen. Nice little details like that. They make me feel quite happy when they're not desert themed. I don't like deserts. Okay, weigh that down. And oh my, the floor is collapsing! And it's... Oh, I see. It's going down there so we can make it into the hole in the wall. Get our money out of the bank. We will fall into the pit of doom! Oh. Okay, it's not, it's not a pit. It's just a... Meh. Fine, we'll go down this way and swirl over the swirl, swirlception. Fool! You have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands! There's quite a lot of ways to go. Um, Which way should I go first? I guess I'll take care of this crack because it could just be an item. Switch to Parrot Carry, because I need him to cross this gap. But first, I will take on the new enemy, <clears throat> which I presume is a Buzzy Beetle. Let's have a look -see. Yep, it's a Buzzy Beetle. Boing, join. Okay, little shout out there. Skydive. Ah, Three damage, that's quite devastating. Is that because of the upgrade I gave him? I guess it's proving quite good after all. I started to think in editing, you know, I probably should have given the upgrade to Bonnet. That sounded the most useful upgrade. But I did give it to Paracari and it's starting to pay off, I suppose. Sky Taibu! And that will absolutely obliterate the Buzzy Beetle. And then after such an impressive showing, he's going to embarrassingly carry across fluttering like a main... I, I can just carry the weight of you. And now I switch to Bomber. I could be a bit quieter with my C-Stick. I'm proper slamming it to the end of my GameCube controller. Making the loudest noise it possibly could make. And this is basically a duplicate room. Weigh it down. 
I haven't even seen what's below this room. Is it going to be a key? All right, so it was a key on a suspended surface. Well, a very high surface. Pit of Doom! Oh, well, star piece. Before I test the Pit of Doom. No, it isn't a Pit of Doom. Guess it's just filled up with sand. Or oh, the N64 just can't handle a hole in the ground. Well, can it? I'm sure there must be other games which have managed a hole in the ground before, which has caused you to fall to another level, even if it needs a cut. Anywho, so we've pretty much cleared up the upper floor, actually. Okay, accidental buzzy beetle fight. I'm sure every LP of this game has imitated the victory theme at some point, so I might as well get it out of the way early. You know what I'm saying? Alright. <gasps> it's the Triforce! But it has been poisoned by those pesky mummies and it has turned green. Blech. At least it's not orange. Orange is my least favourite colour. Anyway, let's go in here. Probably won't get to go too much further into here. Uh, ooh, these stairs look different. Okay, block over there. I can't do anything about that. But a switch. What does it do? It flips the stairs around to something that I can't do anything with. Right. Uh, that little thing on the ground. Ooh, question mark block anyway. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I did see those coffins, and I wondered why they weren't coming out to attack. And we've, we've been sealed in. I think we have to beat all of them. Okay, this is only two of them. I can deal with that. Probably going to have to switch partners. Because Bomat can't hit them without hurting herself. So it's back to Cooper again, unless I tried out Goombario for tattling sakes. But I'm not going to switch her out just yet. Because does this actually hurt it at all? It cringed, but I don't know if that one damage was to it or just to Bomet. That's going to poison me, isn't it? Oh, it didn't. All right, fair enough. I'll take it. Dun, 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 dun. And one more pokey left to go. It's still a threat. I'm taking it completely seriously. But I'm starting to get the guarding down, even if I'm doing it very loudly on my controller. But I bango and make party fly out of him. Body slam. We'll see if this is able to take him out. Mind you, don't they have four hit points? I think they have four. Even though the other pokies, I think, have three. Hammer, this will get the job done. A single head. Go smush. Oh, it looks so satisfying to just flatten that individual undead head. Well, in my mind, of course, it didn't actually happen in the game. No reward. Not even a heart, because I could kind of do with one. Cooper, I think this is going to be where I... Oh, I didn't get the first strike. Yeah, I think I'm going to use Power Shell on one of these two Pokies. Not this one, because it's only one Poke. Don't know what to expect from the Swooperer. But there's only one way to find out. Let it attack me and take lots of damage in the process. Yay. Yeah, that gets rid of the Poke Mummy. Four hit points. Got... Oh, I was expecting it to, you know, move back. At, um... Right? That's a little bit awkward. I can't do anything. So, does that mean I can, like, only hit it with counter-attacks? What am I supposed to do here? I don't have the throwing hammer equipped. Do I just run away? Well, this is... The, um... Ah, that feels like such a waste. But what other option do I have? If this goes wrong, I'll be very annoyed. And I hope I don't have to fight any more swoopers in this area. <laughs> it did a bit derpy face. Okay, it came down. Ah. Oh, Paracarry, that's got to be the key. He can hit these swoopers. As can you, because now you're finally able to jump on it. Kablango, Smango! 
there, so I think what I'm going to do is take out the last Poke Mummy, probably off screen, and then I'll see if I get a reward for it, and then that will be the end of the episode. I'll make my way back to the save block. Oh dear, another swooper. Oh dear, oh dear, another swooper. I sincerely hope that Paracarry can fly up to it. Well, yes, he can. Oh, phew. Hi. Oh! That knocked it down. It's almost beat it, probably. Is that going to point? No, no poison. Okay, that's a good thing. I still haven't learned the timing for that thing. Okay, eight hit points is a little bit concerning. Because my only healing item at the moment is a dried shroom. I checked. Let's get rid of the swooper because he must be almost gone by now. Right? You can't have more than six HP. Surely! That's poisoned me! Okay, I'm on five hit points. I must finish this off very soon or I will be in a very bad way. Please, please finish this off. I can't... Um, oh, I'll go for this. I haven't even done that attack before. Well, it's, it's a good job I pulled it off. Right, five hit points, so I will end the episode once I know that I've made my way back to the entrance. I mean, I'll hope. Should I? Yeah, no, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this key. I'm going to be like, you want to go in the lock? No! You don't go into the lock until the next episode. So, this has been Tale of the Toaster. I will sign off as soon as I know that I don't die. I don't die. Bye-bye.